Well, sure. It's time for our daily dose of some good feels here on X Country 1065, brought to us by our friends over at Riverside Healthcare, putting well within reach. So this morning's good feels comes from, oh, it's an intersection I love. It's the uh, intersection of two really good things. The smell of new shoes. You remember that? Well, that's good. And the joy of putting on a fresh, brand new pair of socks. Those two things, I just, I can't get enough of it. So uh, I want to put the spotlight on a project that often goes under the radar. And to the people who put it on, mm, I don't think they're looking for the spotlight, but I wanted to tell you about what's going on this week. And it's just so much fun. And I have an opportunity to help out with it in a small way. The Kiwanis Club of Kankakee in recent years took over a project that had been done by the Telephone Pioneers Club. Did you know there was such a thing? That sounds like fun, doesn't it? And uh, it's so simple. They provide new shoes for students in need. On a few days this week, students from all over our area get to take a short break in their school day for a special shopping trip to Kohl's or Shoe Carnival with the help of members of the local Kiwanis Club. Students pick out any shoes they want in the store. And you should see their faces when they say, any shoes you want, that's what you get. And along with uh, a few new pairs of socks as well. Now, there's so many reasons I love this project. The smiles and the pride that young kids have in a new pair of shoes or boots. I also see that the satisfaction I see in, in young professionals teaming up with retired business people, educators, and leaders from our community to help make this happen. But I think what I like most is that it's a great reply to all the, the cynics and the naysayers who are convinced of the worst they see in this world, right? Because to make something like this happen doesn't just take a couple people, it kind of takes a whole network of people. It takes, well, it takes donors, people who actually donate the money for the shoes and the club that raises the money. It takes those club members who put their passion to it. It takes some gracious, gracious retail employees who are just so, just so wonderful with a whole van or bus full of children coming into their store. It also takes a network of teachers and school secretaries who notice things like holes in the bottoms of shoes. And I don't know, I think it's a good thing and definitely a good feel that all those people kind of band together this week to make something pretty special happen for a lot of kids. Our good feels as always brought to us by our friends over at Riverside Healthcare, putting well within reach.